on Wednesday. Twitter announced that they will be charging for API access as of next week, eliminating the current free tier of API access that allows for up to 250 requests per month. One reason appears to be to eliminate bad bots, but popular entertainment and news aggregator bots will be similarly affected. So free services like at NinStatusBot, which tracks Nintendo server outages, and at EarthquakeBot, which tracks global earthquakes over 5.0 on the Richter scale, probably can't afford to pay $149 a month to continue operation. The fees for API access are Quite a bit. ridiculous. Quite a like, bit. actually outlandish. Yeah. Um, Another reason appears to be to force researchers to pay to access what the announcement called one of the world's most powerful data sets. It's also one of the world's muddiest, most garbage-ridden data sets. So it, it's definitely uh, one of those. Yeah, that's a whole that's a whole can of worms, I guess. I mean, if you're going to try to back out of the purchase based on how junk the data set is and full of bots <laughs> it is, and then you're going to turn around and Call it, but it it's is extremely valuable. Most powerful data sets. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess the contradiction doesn't matter to some people, but uh, today, Elon Musk, um, CEO of Twitter, yeah, uh, tweeted from his personal account that Twitter will begin sharing profits with creators for the ads that appear below their tweets. I should ask about the ads that appear right before their tweets. <laughs> For those of you who are just tuning in now, we're referring to a controversy where YouTube is not paying uh, shorts creators for ads that show up before the user has watched a short, uh, but while they are in the shorts feed, which is um, okay. okay. Um, so long as they have a paid subscription to Twitter Blue. <laughs> Yeah. So you actually have to pay. You got to pay to make money. To and you don't know how much money you're going to make. Eligible for ad sharing. Um, okay. Um, no. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, in res a response to a comment, Musk likewise announced that Twitter's legacy blue verified checks will sunset in a few months. Yeah, that went really well last time. That was really good. There were no problems with impersonation <laughs> last time. Yeah. Cool. So I don't know if he realizes this yet. Uh, maybe the, he made a video. I haven't watched it, but I have read some of the comments. Um, I don't know if he realizes this yet, but the problem last time was making check marks available to anyone who would pay. And so there was a ton of impersonation. And the problem this time will be a bunch of legitimate accounts not being verified, which opens the doors wide open to impersonation, right? Like, you get it, right? These are the same thing, just two different yeah, ways. We had, we had a problem before Musk bought Twitter where a ton of legitimate accounts that needed verification couldn't get it. And now we're going to have a problem where no accounts have verification. Nice. Cool. Um, the overwhelming majority of current legacy blue verified accounts are celebrities, journalists, government officials, and departments, and brands. So people that could use verification. Yeah, this this is a problem. Well, then I guess they can afford to pay for it, Luke. Probably not always. But it's but the it's the true. it's the town square. <laughs> Everyone why should have an still, equal voice, just why some do more we equal still than talk others. About Twitter news, man. I don't know. It's it's like how can you look away? It's just. It's you a, got it. It's a dumpster there, fire. There's so many people that are like, it's so oh, hot. Musk is the bad man, and then promote him as much as they possibly can. I feel like we're doing the same I thing. I don't even know about bad. I think it's just like... Musk is the entertaining <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mom, clown. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Like, it's... it's it, it is honestly comical. It, it raises so many questions for me. How can someone who has managed to whether it's deserved or not, managed to get so much of the credit for the accomplishments of the companies that he has led, I guess, up until now, well, okay. make such terrible short-sighted decisions. To put on my wheel of whatever sure. it's called hat. Um, Go ahead, defend the should, indefensible. He should be able to make changes to the thing that he bought that was categorically a failure sure. in like every measure oh yeah i was way. losing money i it think they, didn't they make money like one quarter money. ever or something like that i don't even know if they did that maybe they did i don't know i genuinely don't know if that's true or not what i do know is they were losing insane amounts of money just year over year just bleeding out like crazy 
So he has to find some way to try to make it make money. And that's going to be really hard for Twitter. I'm pretty sure I've said on the land show a bunch of times in the past that I don't really understand how Twitter would um, make a lot of money. Uh, he scared all the advertisers away. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a good plan. So now he's got to find a different solution. And maybe those bot guys will pay for it or something. I don't know. Um, I think this is a bad move. I what I I do think that the statement just just like a lot of the things that have happened with Twitter, I think the original statement is is correct to a lot of degrees. Like there probably is a lot of bots that are using the API that are bad. For sure. Probably true. Probably true. I don't think you necessarily fix it this way. No, I don't think this is the solution at all. Yeah. The solution to a bunch of the definitely real problems that have been pushed out are questionable. And some of them have been, been pushed out and then pulled back. And, like, they've been acting very quickly. They've been quite agile in their way of doing things, which some people will say is good and some people will say is bad. Um, I just, my stance has been the same this whole time, which is, it was a dumpster fire before. Like, we can't forget how trash it was. Which I think a lot of people do. I yeah. think they look back at old Twitter with rose tinted glasses. Yeah, it was crap. It was crap. It was and crap now then. It's, it's crap now. Crap in like seven different ways. Yeah, it's uh, it's burning crap. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty good. Uh, yes, they have had a profitable year. In 2019, Twitter was profitable. Cool. Uh, that was a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know. It's. I think the the answer to. I think it would have been kind of neat. If you could like apply to be like a bot of good faith, because there are honestly straight up, and I actually find it really annoying if I am actually using Twitter and I see this happen, where you get like every single reply to a tweet is like at save thread or whatever. Mm. They just like, it's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tweets just calling bots in to like save threads or save videos or do whatever else. Oh, it's like, I have just really seen that. Build this functionality or like something like uh, so there, there's there's functionality solving bots right that they're very likely going to block out right yeah for sure yeah Jaden's saying why not bot verified yeah exactly so like i feel like the old verification system where you like apply for it and then you get it or not might actually make sense for bots but then they didn't do that they just yeah you'd, you'd have to have people who work on something that doesn't generate revenue yeah which is clearly not the plan not happening. at but Twitter 2.0, which again, is hardcore. <laughs> might make sense to certain degrees because they're sitting on this teetering edge going like, are we going to completely bankrupt ourselves? Yeah. So like, would, would you as a leader of a ship that is potentially a month or two away from bankruptcy want to commit anything to something that isn't going to make money? Pretty unlikely. I don't know. Situation's whack. 